Focal length is a term often used in photography. Every lens has a focal length measurement written on the side of it, and when you purchase a lens, it will be named after the focal length. But what does it mean, and how does it affect your images? In the simplest terms, it's the distance between the convergence point of the light rays and the sensor, or film if you're old school. So in this really simplified image, the light rays come into the lens, go through a few elements, and then converge, a bit like it would when it travels through your eye, and then it hits the sensor. F is the focal length, which is the distance between the convergence point and the sensor when focused to infinity. As the light travels through this convergence point, it flips the image upside down, and then the camera's brains flip it back the other way. If you hold a lens up to a window, making sure you're not pointing it at the sun, you'll see that the image you get through the lens is upside down, proving this point. Now, when you change the focal length, you'll change the framing of the shot. Basically, the longer the focal length, the more zoomed in the shot will be. So if I shoot with a 24 millimeter, the frame will be really wide. If I shoot with a 70 millimeter, the shot will be zoomed in. As the focal length gets even longer, the shot will become more and more zoomed in. Now you get two different types of lens. You can have a prime lens or a zoom lens. A prime lens has a fixed focal length, so the framing will stay the same unless you move backwards or forwards. A zoom lens covers a range of focal distances. So let's say a 24 to 70 millimeter, that will zoom in from a wide shot to a telephoto shot. If you have a 24 to 240, this will zoom in a lot further. So you can see focal length is something that you really need to know about. It basically changes how you can frame your shot. So if you want to take pictures of animals and birds that are really far away, you'll need a long focal length, something like a 400 or a 600 millimeter lens. On the other hand, if you want a really wide shot of a big landscape, or your subject is really close to the lens and you want to get them all in the shot, you'll need something like a 12 to 24 millimeter. And that's about it. Just remember, the shorter the focal length, the wider the angle of the shot that you'll get. The longer the focal length, the more zoomed in the shot will be. If you want to see more videos, subscribe and turn on notifications by clicking on the bell. Also, head over to my channel for more videos and tutorials. I'll see you in the next one.